Okay, let's show you how to set up some advanced category uh, filter options and show, just basically explain how they're done and show you a few examples. Let's do a real world example. Let's go under hotels. Let's show you how to add things like uh, pet friendly and add a filter box for that. So let's go to our back end and go to geotheme post custom fields. There's a couple of ways to do this and I'll show you both. Uh, so we'll start off with the first one. Let's add a new field. Title. Say dog friendly. Front end title. Dog friendly. Let's do a question mark. Uh, are you dog friendly? Now the type, the two types I'm talking about is either checkbox or select. Um, now for checkbox, it'll only appear on the places detail page if it's actually checked. If it's not checked, it won't appear. So if you want it to appear all the time, so if you want to state it doesn't accept dogs, you'd have to choose the select option. So I'll just show you how to do the checkbox one first, and then we'll come back and do select. So let's go checkbox. HTML variable name. Uh, you, ha you cannot include uh, spaces in this. It has to have no spaces either at the beginning, end, or middle. No spaces and see we have a underscore here keeping it so there's no spaces. And I prefer to keep things lowercase. Makes things simpler. HTML variable name is used for things like styling it in the on the details page. You could add a wee picture of a dog next to that by using the dog friendly attribute in your CSS. Admin label, we can just make that dog friendly as well. Now the default value for a checkbox will be what is displayed on the details page once it's ticked. So let's say friendly dogs allowed. Uh, display order, well I'll fill itself in. Is active, yes, shown listing page. Let's just show you on the details page just now, keep it simple. Uh, we'll just select all packages so it's selected. It's available in all packages. Now it's not a category sort option, it's a category tick filter we're going to select it as. You can limit it by category, so you could have it under, what else would you put it under? Hotels, you could have it under restaurants, things like that, but we'll just stick with hotels for now and save that. Wait for it to come back saved. Yep, saved successfully. Okay, now let's go and go to a hotel. Let's go to Chestnut Hill Hotel. And as you can see, I've already added this. <laughs> and this is my second time doing this tutorial. So let's go into it and edit it. Now this custom field will appear at the bottom. and will usually be unticked when you first set it up. Uh, this is just because I'm doing the tutorial again. Now you've got the dog friendly here. Are you dog friendly? Is your hotel dog friendly? Any kind of description you want. And if you tick it and then go next accept terms and conditions, review your listing, you'll see it'll come up dog friendly question mark. Now maybe we shouldn't put that question mark in here. So let's, if you don't want that question mark there, you can just simply go back and Remove that question mark because you're asking the question in the description anyway. Click save. And we can refresh this page. And there we go, dog friendly, friendly dogs allowed. Let's update that. And let's go back to hotel category. Now you should see this dog friendly filter box. So out of all the hotels there, the three pages of them, if we tick this and click filter, hopefully we'll only see Chestnut Hill Hotel. Cross your fingers. Hey, there we go now. This is means it's a dog friendly hotel. And you can simply add in things like smoking, non-smoking, disabled access, parking, and it'll just add them in and push it across with lots of different tick boxes. And that's how you do it for that one. So let's go back and just show you the, the other way because 
let's go back to without the filter. If we go to this Philadelphia Hotel downtown one, you'll notice that it's not there at all. It doesn't say anything about being dog friendly or not dog friendly. Now, that might be the way you want it not to list it, but some people might, you know, there's some fields you might want to list specifically no. So how do we do that? Let's change this to a select box. Now you have to read these instructions here. Option value should be separated by a comma, that's fine. If using the tick filter, place a forward slash and then either a 1 for true or a 0 for false. And then let's just do, handily I've used this as an example. Now let's just explain what that means. The first option is going to be no dogs allowed and it's false. And then the second option is dogs allowed and it's true. So if they tick no dogs allowed, it's going to say that they have they don't accept dogs. And if they choose dogs allowed, it's going to say that they do. Now the one and the zero is used in the advanced filters. It won't be shown. Uh, it's just for the advanced filters. So let's keep everything the same. Save that. Wait till it comes back saved. It's saved. Let's go back to hotels. Let's go to Chestnut Hill Hotel. Edit. Let's go back down and dog friendly. Are you dog friendly? No dogs allowed. Let's say dogs allowed. Let's save that. And now it says dogs allowed. Update now. And back to hotels. And the same thing should happen. Tick the box, filter. And we have the Chestnut Hill Hotel. Now let's go into this one, the top one, the Philadelphia Hotel. And let's make this one say no. So when they're adding their listing, and we come to dog friendly, no dogs allowed. Review your listing, oh, declare a owner, let's say we're not the owner. Uh, receive your listing, or review your listing rather. We'll go down and it'll say dog friendly, no dogs allowed. So now that's stated that there's no dogs allowed, Update now, back to hotels. Now we do this filter, it's still only the Chestnut Hill Hotel should appear, which is correct. Go back to hotels, let's go to the Philadelphia Hotel, and we shall see no dogs allowed. And you can make this for anything like smoking, non smoking, parking, anything like that. And you can add as many as you want down here. You could add, so you could filter it by dog friendly and smoking allowed. Although I don't think there's anywhere you're allowed to smoke anymore. Uh, you could say disabled access, um, parking, on street parking, anything like that. You can have lots of different filters and you can just filter them all there. And that's how that works. Good luck. Okay, I thought I'd just nip back in here and uh, show you this one with a disabled access as well. So I've added disabled access and I have made the Chestnut Hill Hotel and the, this Philadelphia Marriott downtown both disabled access. So let's filter by disabled access. Both of them should come up. Now the Philadelphia Marriott downtown is not dog friendly, but the Chestnut Hill Hotel is. So we can filter that as well. And now we'll just have only ones that are disabled access and dog friendly. And that's how that works. And on another wee last note uh, for the disabled access, the HTML variable name cannot be the same as any of your other ones. So it's important to know that. You'll just mess things up if you do. Okay, good luck again.